at the end of the month. Hi guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I wanted to do a November favorites video for you guys. It's been so long since I filmed on this channel, but I just... I've been really in the mood to play with makeup again. This time of year always brings that out in me. And so I'm going to try and film more often. So we are at the end of the month of November and I figured I would go ahead and share some of my favorites with you guys. Now I have been working on some of the stuff that I'm trying to get through and I do tend to do kind of a shop my stash where I use random.org to decide what it is that I'm going to be wearing on any given day. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't have some things that I get really excited when I get to wear them. So let's talk about that. I'm going to start with the drugstore items. I've got two lip products to talk about, um, and I'm pretty sure I've talked about them before because I love them and they're just classics. The first is the Milani Lipstick in Naturally Chic, which is a lovely neutral lipstick. It's not really nude. I tend to prefer kind of like these neutral colors over um, more of a nude lipstick because I find that sometimes nude lipsticks just make me look extremely washed out. Um, whereas this is kind of nice because it's neutral and can be paired with something like a smoky eye and bring the attention really up to your eyes, but still makes me feel alive. And then kind of the opposite of that is my Milani's Red Label, which is my all-time favorite red lipstick and my child's dug her finger into this. Look at that. Um, I have a two-year-old at home who really likes to get into mommy's lipstick and makeup in general. She really likes to play with makeup. So that's frustrating, but we'll fix it. Um, I've been wearing this a lot. Pretty much any time you've seen red on my lips this month, it's been this. And by you, I mean anyone who's been watching the Daily Channel because I have been wearing a lot of red lipstick this time of year. Just something about this year this season brings out the red lover in me and I just think that Red Label is the perfect red lipstick. I also have my Milani Total Lash Cover Mascara. I've talked about this for years. I think that it is the best drugstore mascara out there. I don't know why people don't talk about this more, um, but it's really cool because it has, the end of it's kind of weird. It's got like this just weird nub on the end, but it's got, I don't know if you can tell, it's got like a a comb on either side and then it's like a brush so it separates but adds volume at the same time so I really really like this and it's been a while since I've used it um, and I recently repurchased it and I was like oh yeah I forgot this is the perfect formula it's not too wet not too dry and very buildable I just love it um, as long as we're talking about eyelashes I've been wearing fake lashes almost all month, and I'm wearing them right now. They're the Ardell 301s, which are those little half lashes. I absolutely love them. I just think that they're a lot easier to put on and they look a lot more natural. Then I've got a couple of things by Too Faced that I wanted to mention, and my battery is dying, so I'll try to mention them pretty quickly. The first one is this Too Faced Press Powder in uh, the Cocoa Powder Foundation. And I'm actually, I'm starting to see pan on that. Look at that. I've had this for about five months now, and I've been loving it. I hope that you guys can see me. I'm really sorry. I had to switch cameras in the middle there because my battery on the other camera died. And this one doesn't have a flip screen. So I hope that you guys can see me, but I want to get this filmed while my daughter's still sleeping. So let's go ahead and finish up. I much prefer pressed powder over loose powder. I just don't like loose products. I find that they're really messy. So... The Too Faced Cocoa Powder uh, Powder Foundation, I love it. I'm in the shade Light, and I don't think I will ever be buying another pressed powder ever again. I used to think that it didn't make a difference whether you have a high-end pressed powder versus a drugstore pressed powder, and in some sense I think that's true. I think that there are plenty of good drugstore pressed powders. A lot of the ones that I've tried that happen to be cruelty-free are really um, powdery. I don't know how else to say it, especially now that I have really drier skin, um, I find that I prefer this one because it doesn't make my skin look really patchy. And then I've got two products that I had depotted from palettes. Um, this first one is also by Too Faced. It is Candlelight. It's the Candlelight bron or Highlighter. As you can see, I have hit pan. It is just beautiful. I think it is the perfect 
highlight. And I really want to finish this up because I prefer to have products in a, um, I prefer to have products in, um, like compacts when they're like cheek products like this. So once this is done, I want to, um, buy the full size, but I don't want to do that until this is done. I don't see a reason to have more than one of the same exact product in my collection. So I've really, really, really been loving that. And then this one, I don't believe is part of their permanent line. This was in the, actually both of these were in the um, Sweet Dreams palette, I think, from Too Faced like several Christmases ago. I can't even, like four Christmases ago, maybe five Christmases ago. But this is Too Faced Cocoa Rose, and it's like a terracotta, I don't know, I'm really bad at describing color, but it's like, it reminds me of um, the Tarte Exposed Blush, where it's got kind of, it's kind of mauve -y, but it's mostly just really muted and beautiful, and I think it goes with any look, especially if you're wearing like really smoky eyes, I think it looks really nice, or even with um, like red lips and you really don't want your cheeks to be the focus. I really, really enjoy this blush. So. I've been liking both of these, and I'm sorry that it's not part of the permanent line, but there you go. So those are just a couple of the makeup items I've really been enjoying this month. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, what are some of your favorites for this month? Let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can do so by subscribing to my daily channel, which is Sudden Compact. That's linked down below. And you can also check out my parenting channel, which is Heidi Kim TV. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I, I love December. It's my favorite time of year to go shopping for makeup. And I thought that it would be a good time, as any, to go ahead and do the What I've Learned from Makeout 2015 video and kind of fill you in on all the stuff you've missed. Uh, so last time I did an update on my Project 10 Pan, I had like three uses out of those two eyeliners left. I finished those while we were on vacation. Project 10 Pan has been done for a while. 